Hey everyone, this is Baylor, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the the built-in TextMate macros. So let's kind of break that down. Text like Jeffrey Way. I don't know how to start this video. I'm terribly sorry about that. Jeffrey Way just posted this new video. It says web developers are using macros, and I was like, well, what is macros? I've always seen it in TextMate. What does it do exactly? Well, basically, what it does is it makes it where you can quickly just replace certain parts of text based on uh, your cursor here and where you change it and how many times you duplicate the line or whatever you want whatever you do exactly so basically what you can do with this is we can go we can type in like webkit box shadow and we'll just say zero zero ten pixels is black and what this will do is it's going to set our x offset our y offset our blur radius and our color well, to make this work with, right now you can see you have a WebKit box or a WebKit prefix, which means it'll only work in like Chrome and Safari and other WebKit browsers. Well, what you can do to make this work in like Mozilla Firefox, you would copy this and you'd paste it and you'd replace this WebKit with Moz. And you'd do it again, uh, it just, I don't know why you do it again, I do it again generally, and it's just so that uh, whenever this is supported, it will be run like that. I, I don't know for sure. I say this, and I haven't researched it at all, so I'm not like really uh, trustworthy on that. But uh, or this, but like it always seems like Opera or Op yeah, it's not Oprah. Opera goes ahead and it generally makes it where you can run it without the prefix. And sometimes I think you see I see O like that. I don't know if that's Opera or not. Um, but it uh, normally can just normally normally Opera just goes ahead and supports it without anything. With that in mind, let's go ahead and create our macros. What you do is you go to Bundles, Macros, and you get the Start Recording. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And you can see down at the bottom right corner, we get the little pulsating red dot. And that's letting us know that whatever we do right now is being watched. It's being recorded. So we can save what we do. So while we do this, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and copy this line. We're going to replace the WebKit with Moz and we'll do it again and this time we'll just replace everything and I'm going to jump back to the right end of my text so once we've done all that we can go to bundles macros and stop recording and basically it's done what we can do with that is we can come and just replace this text and we can just hit shift command M and you see it automatically runs it and it puts our cursor right where we left it um, at the end of when we're recording so I can go anywhere I want run it and it shows up. If we look at the bundles macro setter, you can see that's the shift command and where it says replay last recording. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say save last recording and you can see it opens up your little bundle editor. It goes into your bundles where you save your bundles and what I can do is I can kind of review it and look at it and see what it's changing and you can see the very last one's moved to the end of the line and I did that just so when I'm done doing this I'm at the end and not um, right here I'm at the, the, the very end and uh, what we can do here is we can put a name so we'll say CSS prefixes and uh, we'll go ahead and capitalize that and then what we can do is I'm um, down here at the bottom underneath this little half of the window you get the activation method so how's it used I'm going to set this to a tab trigger and I'm going to choose VCSS because that's what uh, that's what Jeffrey Way used and uh, we'll go ahead and click outside of it to save it and we're done so what we can do with that knowing that we can do all this we can say webkit um, border radius for instance and we can say 10 pixels and if we do vcss and press tab you can see it automatically puts this in here and it's just really cool to be able to do that because I'm about to make another video but if you look at my other videos you'll see where I show you how to use TextMate scratch snippets to do that and uh, being able to do this little this little macros makes things like that so much easier and faster just for different miscellaneous tasks like this. So thanks for watching this video and goodbye.